you start with an idea. Okay, the idea can come from someone else, it can come from something you read, it can come from, you know, a tip. Okay? So you start with that idea, that idea becomes a question. The question is what happened? So you answer the question. This is what happened. This is where it happened. This is when it happened. This is who it happened to. This is why it happened. Now you don't know these things truly occurred. So this is a hypothesis. It has to include the information that you have. But the rest of it is just saying it must have been like this. And then you check out whether it was in fact like that. Okay? And the way you check is first by thinking of where some parts of the hypothesis might be answerable by publicly available information. Okay, if you say, it happened in Arizona. Well, is there any indication that such, th such a thing happened in Arizona? Okay, anybody leave any traces? There are different examples, okay? A, an extreme right party once told me that, uh, that they'd been brainstorming about how to put their program into operation even though the program was illegal. So, the first thing you start with is, what's the program? That's not hard to find. Then you start looking around to see if there are any places where they've been doing it. That's not hard to find either. And you build it up from there. So you start with what's open and visible, and you go from what's open and visible to what you don't know. Okay, and you start with the easiest stuff, the most open stuff first. You don't start by walking up to somebody and saying, tell me your secrets. Okay, because people won't tell their secrets to someone who isn't worth telling them to, which means someone who has already figured out what the secret is. Of course, if you're asking somebody to do all your work for you, if you're asking them to tell you all the facts you don't know, you're at their mercy. Okay? I mean, there's a difference between saying, what happened, and saying, this is what happened, right? Okay, if you can say the second part, it's much harder to lie to you. And also, people will confirm things rather than volunteer them much more easily. So you want to put people in a position where they, all they have to do is confirm. Okay, that's it. You don't want to put them in a position where they're going to give you the story. Why would they? Why would I give you the story? Do I care about you? No. You're a journalist. Well, go away. I'm not telling you. And then if you say, well, actually, this is what happened, isn't it? Well, how did you know that? It's a different relationship.